Let's cut to the chase. We all know what the biggest news of the week is. The Russians hacked the White House. No, no, I'm sure that's all very important, but I'm talking about Zayn officially leaving One Direction. No. Yes, Zayn has left the world in utter mourning. People called off work, satellites fell from the sky, stock markets across the globe crashed. But not all is lost, David. Spring is in the air, the birds are chirping, and the weather is finally warming up. Which, of course, is great news for drug dealers. Why is springtime good for drug dealers? Well, my esteemed colleagues in the um, cannabis business so that they had a lot of time hiding their weed this past winter because their heat lamps kept melting the snow away. And when your house is the only one on the street without snow on top of it, the cops will have a pretty good idea of what's going on underneath. It's like wearing a Bob Marley shirt on a flight to Amsterdam. It's like writing a research paper on the economic benefits of selling pot. It's like having a license plate that says Weed 420. Yeah, exactly. You're just making it too easy for the 5 up. The moral of the story is, if you want to grow weed, grow it in your basement. Yeah, but then you could get into a little bit of a space issue, what with your weed selling and then your bondage chamber all in the same place. You know, I just really need more square footage. In uh, less disturbing news, Kraft News recently recalled 6.5 million boxes of macaroni and cheese after people found metal objects in their products. How is that any less disturbing? A spokesperson from the company stated, we deeply regret this situation and apologize to any consumers we have disappointed. So, if you've ever cried into your Easy Mac, maybe it's because a sharp metal object stabbed you in the tongue. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe it's because your significant other says that we need a little bit of a break. And then she runs away to Cancun with her third cousin that she's barely related to. And then she says that we need more time apart because all you have going for you in your life is that you're a botany major and all you have left in this entire world is some of that cheesy, gooey goodness. David, David, don't be sad. Life is full of experiences. Just because we choose lovers and food that tear up our insides doesn't mean that there are awesome aspects of living. Every morning I get up at 6.30 a.m. and let birds fly into my room. Then, once the birds are gone, I sing a lovely song to my sleeping roommate about how birds came into our room. When I leave my dorm at 8 a.m., the birds follow Blue jays, cardinals, robins, a turkey, all sorts of wonderful birds. When I walk towards Greenlaw, I call to the birds and they call to me, David, life is beautiful. <sighs> Try it. Eat the mac and cheese. All right, fine, I will. Wait, Wait this, isn't, this isn't crap. Trust me, dude, this like isn't your average mac and cheese. Don't stop eating it. Is this special mac and cheese? Maybe. Huh. Nothing is real. Huh? None of that stuff I was worried about even matters. What you perceive to be real isn't real. The truth is a lie. And all the physical manifestations that make up our world are just... Figments of the imagination of some superior being. A device that controls us all and makes us all one. Not ah. real, eh? Yeah, okay. No, that was real. In uh, other news, National Geographic journalist Paul Rose was recently chased by a male tortoise. It was just boning its mate and then went to chase the guy. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. So, we have a freaking awesome show for you tonight. We're going to get to it right after we, we finish this mac and cheese. Yeah, dude. And cheese. I have more where that came from. It'll be great. Don't go away. Mm -hmm.